up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out. Before I get going, hit my like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and don't forget that I go live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30, and I'm also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m., Central Standard Time, and please join the channel for access to exclusive content. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and the videos. And please also do not forget, bro, to um, you know, hit me up if you want to hop in on the TKO debate series, knockoutbox86yahoo.com. But let's get to it, man. Alicia Baumgartner putting her undisputed 130 pound titles on the line against Christina Lenardo. 10 round undisputed 130 pound title fight. This is the one loss Alicia Bumgarner got on her record, and she said, let me get that back. I love the attitude, bro. They fought at 140. Um, now they fighting at 130. Leonardo ain't been at 130 like since 2018. So she's five years removed from the weight class, coming back down. We'll see what that look like. We'll see what that look like. But Leonardo, 35 years old, orthodox fighter out of Greece, five foot four, um, 14 wins, two losses, six wins by way of knockout. She has been inactive. She only got one fight since 2020, and that only went six rounds. So she got six rounds of action since the pandemic. Um, but she's getting her shot at Alicia Bumgarner's titles here. Alicia Bumgarner, 29 years old, Orthodox fighter, five foot six out of Ohio, um, repping Detroit, 14 wins, one loss, seven wins by way of knockout. Look, man, um, Christina Leonardo is aggressive. She don't stop coming. She don't. Uh, she don't. She don't got no off switch. She she can get she can outwork you. But her head can get caught on the line. Her defense ain't the best, but she can out, she ain't really, you know what I'm saying, got huge power, but she can get you tired. She 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 got pretty good technique with her punches, specifically that that straight right and the, and the left hook down to the body. I like those from her. But she a pressure fighter that's coming to outwork these girls and coming to drown them and shit. And that's how she did Alicia Bumgarner. She beat Bumgarner by split decision, but Alicia Bumgarner, her biggest weakness in my opinion, gas tank. Because she she's so explosive and she's so turned on trying to see everything, so that's mentally draining. She um got real good timing, real good power, real good counter puncher, fights with a good rhythm, nice jab. Um she she can fight, bro. But her issue is gas tank. I don't know what it is with the methods of the people that come out of Tony Harrison. Tony Harrison himself, when his daddy was training him, and Tony Harrison now, him when, when we see him in the ring trained by his brother, and then Tony Harrison fighter Alicia Bumgarner being trained by Tony Harrison. Skills up to par, bro. She is so much better technically than she was when she fought Leonardo the first time. But for whatever reason, bro, that camp right there, gas tank issues. Bad ones. Like, kind of like the bread man shit, bro. Kind of like the bread man shit, Caleb Plant. J Rock. Like, it's something with bread man and Tony Harrison. Bro, they fighters get tired. Alicia Bumgarner gonna get tired and. If she catch her second win, she might turn up late on your ass. But she she is going to get tired somewhere in the middle of a fight. You're going to be like, damn, what's wrong with her, bro? Gas tank. Everything else, when she when she got her energy and shit, she nice, bro. She nice. And she fighting a fighter that beat her. And that could be that could do some shit to you mentally. Because Leonardo going to come in highly confident. And Lisa Bumgarner, no matter how much she improved, no matter how much... She, um, you know, done accomplished since losing. There's still somebody that got the best of her on that night. And sometimes, you know, dudes, fighters don't have to be more accomplished than you. They don't have to be more accomplished than you. You can be the, the considered the better fighter all time, but sometimes they just got your number. It's just a bad matchup. They just, they just rise to the occasion against you. Ask Manny Pacquiao about Juan Manuel Marquez. Ask Shane Mosley about Vernon Forrest, bro. So we're going to see if this is one of those situations for Alicia Bumgarner where, yes, talent-wise, skill-wise, accolades-wise, style-wise, when you look at them fight, you're like, oh, Alicia Bumgarner, the better fighter. But 
But for some reason, when they share the ring together, Leonardo just got her number. We're going to find out if it's one of those or if Alicia and Bumgarner is able to write her own. Um, for me, for me, who I'm picking and why, Leonardo Pav, she can she can try to drown Alicia Bumgarner. Her thing is stay in the fight, stay competitive early when Alicia Bumgarner still got her energy and she's still sharp. And when Alicia Bumgarner get tired, she got to jump on Alicia Bumgarner and never let her catch that second win. Work your hardest, keep working, try to drown her, and you run up rounds to the back half, middle half of the fight. You be competitive the first four or five rounds, just at least get a round or two. And then the last half of the fight got to be all yours. You got to drown her in just a, 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 a plethora of punches and, and just get her tired. Because as long as she got her energy, as long as she's able to catch her second win and not get tired and not overwork, she can pick Leonardo apart. She's the faster, more athletic, more skilled fighter. And she's explosive and she got great timing and great counter punching ability, specifically with that right hand. For Alicia Baumgartner, Look, you keep the fight in the center of the ring. You work behind your jab. You know you got gas tank issues. So if a combination there, yeah, you take it. Yeah, you take it. You do your thing. But for the most part, if you can just win jabbing, 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 looking to set up that right hand and not moving so much, you do that shit. You do that shit. You don't use no more energy than you have to. And you should be able to outpoint your way to victory. But I think for this fight, uh, for this fight, I got it going the distance. And I'm picking Alicia Bumgarner in this fight. I think Leonardo coming down all the way back down to 130 for the first time in five years, 35 years old, I think that could have an effect on her energy. I think that could have an effect on um on just her 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 gas tank, cutting that much weight and having cut that much weight in a long time. I think that um her her ring rush, she ain't fought, like I said, one time since 2020. Um, so I think those two things, um, on top of the fact that Alicia Bumgarner got way better and when Alicia Bumgarner wasn't at her best, when she didn't have Tony Harrison, when she wasn't as sharp and as skilled as she is now, Christina Leonardo was still on the beat her by split decision. So it ain't like the gap was so wide, like she dominated her and shit. So I think with those adjustments, the help of Tony Harrison, cause he's a great coach, um, the things that she's gotten better at the timing. The, um, the jab, the defense, um, the movement. Um, and then now that she's champion and, and, and she knows what that's like, she's at the mountaintop, you know, that level of confidence. I think all those things coupled with the fact that Leonardo has slipped, in my opinion. She's not as good anymore. She hasn't been as active. She hasn't went on to accomplish great things since um, beating Alicia Bumgarner. And she hasn't been at the weight class in five years. I got to pick Alicia Baumgartner in this fight. Unanimous decision. That's my pick. Y'all let me know who y'all pick and comment below. Smash the like, sub to the channel. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of y'all day with that. We out of here. Peace out, y'all.